2017, Justin. Coming to an end. Doozy of a year. Yeah, I would say for sure. Hey. Yeah, a lot of stuff happened. There's been some highlights. Yeah, for sure. I think we're going to give the people some of the musical highlights of the year. A best of, if you will. A two-man best of. Yeah, I think, yeah. This is good. Mm -hmm. this, is a, this is a good place to start. Like, remember, VH1 used to be a thing. <clears throat> this is the replacement for VH1. Oh, yeah. So we'll just, like, cut really close to me with, mm -hmm. like, a red background. Mm -hmm. And I'll be like, where can I find you know? Some and then, bubbles yeah. pop up. Yeah, exactly. What we're thinking. Yeah. All right. All right. So we'll do some, 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 some pop art clip show stuff. Yep. None of that's going to happen, though. That requires a lot of editing. <laughs> that does require I'm in, a lot I'm of I'm into editing. not good editing, yeah. Yeah, but just a lot of editing. All right. right. Album of the year. Let's start off top. Okay. And now these are our, al our, our album of the year. Right. And okay. I urge you in the comment section right. to answer yourself. Yeah. Right? So we can all have a beautiful community. <clears throat> musical yeah. Community. Okay. What do you, what do you, what do you got? Album of the year. My favorite album that came out this year, uh, came out in March and it was by Mastodon and it's called Emperor of Sand. Excellent and, choice. Yeah, man, because they tell a story much like some of my favorite musicians, you know, like, uh, uh the whole, the whole, uh, it, I guess it's a concept album. What is music but a storytelling device? Oh, I know. Culturally. That's right. It's my second music. It's my second favorite concept album right next to, to Parador. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> you know, technically Parador was released in 2017. First, oh. Yeah. But it's you know. fine if it didn't make <clears throat> a best of right. list. Right. Yeah. Uh, it didn't Mastodon, that. great, though. Yeah. I would say the most accessible Mastodon album yet. Yeah. Oh, no doubt. No you know, doubt. no doubt. It, it, yeah. If you're not into the hardcore rockness of Mastodon, or the, the mathy, like uh, you know, like Crack the Sky is a really good album, but sure. it's a lot of weird time signatures. Yeah, not stuff, for right? everybody. Right. You know, I'm not super into that stuff, but mm -hmm. I think this is this is my favorite Mastodon. That's album a great, yeah, it's sure. a great album. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My favorite album, Back Colors. Oh man, incredible! If Elliot Smith were still alive, it was. It's what like indie yeah. pop rock was always supposed to yeah, be. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Listen to Upright Piano and those drums. Oh I mean, my god, yeah. Dear Life, yeah. love yeah. that song. Yeah. <clears throat> it's good. Wow, it's good. not a fan of Wow. I skip over Wow every time. Uh, it's kind of like him. <laughs> it's the it. Amity it's of that album. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Skip over it. Yeah. Back Colors, okay. awesome. Check it out. I right. urge you. Speaking of songs. What's the song of the year? What do you got? Sean, this is really hard because I don't really have a favorite song. Yeah. But, you You're know. You're more of an album man. Yeah, for it's sure. It's hard to pick. It's like um, picking a child. Well, if you like metal, uh, there's this band called Aversion's Crown. They're one of my favorite metal bands. Mm -hmm. They had an album that came out this year that was called um, Xenocide. And there's, an, uh, there's a song on there called What Hi is Xenocide, by the way? Dude, don't know. I think it's pretty much when aliens come and raise a planet. Like R A Z E. Is that a thing? Raise? Like, yeah. To, like, Sure, yeah. they like strip it of his natural resources. Yeah, exactly. And stuff. Yeah, so I think that's. I like. What about? Aren't, doesn't it have like robots? Xeno, like Xeno gears. Well, I mean, a, a xenomorph thing, right? is what the aliens xenomorph. were called in the movie Alien. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, so so maybe it's the elimination of aliens. Right. I mean, that's besides the point. Which is weird too, because that isn't isn't being xenophobic like isn't that like a totally yeah. different connotation? Yeah, that has nothing to do with. All that. right, all I know is that hybridization is what the song is called, <laughs> and if you can imagine, it's like apparently like these aliens have come to raise the planet. It's a concept album, of sorts, right? And so whatever of sorts. <laughs> Well, look, the drummer is so good. So listen. I, it's, the, the drumming it's, is insane. It is so good. So the reason I like yeah. this song is specifically for the drummer. It is mm -hmm. so good. Uh, and, you know, I wish we would have done this last year because there's so much good music came out last year. I know. This is 2017 only. Hey, this, yeah. Hands are tied. What about you, Sean? There's a new What's tradition. It? My What's favorite it? song, I would, it's got to be Queens of the Stone Age, The Evil Has Landed. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah that was good. Not, it's hard to believe that came out this year. It felt like it. I know, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good stuff. Only only nine tracks. I don't want to say I'm disappointed in the new Queens, uh -huh. but it's not uh, it's not in the pantheon for me for what that band is. But a lot of good songs still. Right. Evil's Landed, mm -hmm. my song of the year. Band of the year. Or is it? Are we doing a band of the year? Band. Who's your favorite? The the band of the year doesn't mean it's your favorite band. And they released an album this year? Or well, just like... I, you know, it doesn't have to be. Maybe they were just rocking it all year. Uh -huh. And it's like, these guys deserve recognition for being the band oh, of the year. That's so hard. I can go first. Yeah, please. If, I want, if you want to stall, if you think of something. Well, I mean, I want to say Snarky Puppy. You know, I've been. I think that they're, but but I don't. I haven't really listened. Recognition to them. wise, I feel like they step. They step. Yeah, up a I feel level like they were. Year. They were. Yeah, exactly. I mm -hmm. feel like they they've always been kind of popular in niche, like maybe jazz circles or like you know jam jammy circles. But mm -hmm. I feel like this year, I I heard people talking about them. Where I was like, oh, I didn't really know that you would be interested in that kind of music. And I think it's because they've expanded their audience. Of course, yeah, for sure. And I think it's cool because they've been doing a lot of uh, group stuff. You know, like you you see like these videos where it's really just like three or four people, but then you have they have those big 
groups. Oh, like you know, 30 people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so sometimes and I... Then quick, give it up for the audio engineer that does oh, those. Three drummers, three synth players. And it's like, the, the mix sounds so good. And some of those, yeah, like, it's amazing. Videos. And it's live. Oh. Yeah, I don't, I don't get it. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so so good, I'll say Snarky Puppy. Yeah, all right. Yeah, that's a good sure. answer for yeah. Band of the Year. Yeah. I mean, it's the wrong answer. It is the wrong the answer. The right answer is King Gizzard and the Lizard. That's Wizard, right. That's right. That's all right. right. Uh, that's right. Uh, they put out five albums this year. Yeah. They're awesome. Microtonal banana, I don't really count. But as far anything after, I mean, the last three albums were just awesome yeah amazing it was excellent, yeah. it was excellent. You know? and actually it kind of like in a way filled my like tame and paula itch since they haven't come out with anything sure. for a while you uh -huh. know so i was like i need some psychedelia it is and the is kings that, of psychedelia is that neo psychedelia right like, I, well like, i think some of it is yeah, for yeah, sure yeah. i mean some of it's all some of it's straight up rock yeah, that's true like i yeah. i mean that's they're versatile that's right they're versatile and they're prolific yeah. and prolifically good not like I'm gonna get. I'm. I'm sure there's Buckethead fans. <laughs> They're gonna comment on this. Like five albums in a year. That's right. <laughs> Look at Buckethead. Yeah, my friend Gabe one time actually looked at my. He was going through my music and he mm. he had saw like there were uh, sixty Buckethead albums and he uh, had told me that my computer was glitched. I was like, no man. No, those, those are, are all. Real. all He's like, have really you listened to them all? I said, no. No. <laughs> Again, nothing against Buckethead. Yeah. Monster player. Right, of course. A lot of it seems like just a backing track that he's just practicing over. That's right. And I'll release That's it as what an it album. Is. Hey, really cool. If people dig it. That's fine. Yeah. I'm not going to hate on yeah, it. For sure. King Gizzard, I feel like, is a. a oh, it's compositions. A bunch of them. Yeah, for okay. sure. Okay. So, this is going to be the next one. It's going to be. <laughs> the Slept On. This, the uh, the Cody Mansfield Cook right. Award. Yes. Yeah. You've seen Cody on the channel before. That's right. Uh, yeah, so, we've decided to name the Slept On Award after, after Cody, you know. What being slept on means is like right. maybe this band's been putting in work for a while. That's right. But we're only recognizing them after the fact. Somehow right. they've gone under our radar. They've right. been slept on. Or maybe you heard about them and like, you know, you have that friend that has terrible music taste and they tell you like, hey, you should listen to Spain. And you're like, eh. And then you're like, oh, I should have trusted you that once. Uh -huh. You know? Or, or what I do, what happens to me all mm -hmm. the time, the people will give me a suggestion. I'll be like, oh, sure, I'll listen to it. Never listen to it. Forget mm -hmm. it. I hear it somewhere else. And then I'll tell that person about the band that they told me about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, have yeah. you ever heard of this? Yeah. And they're like, yeah, I told you this. And I'm like, oh, yep. oh whatever. Yep, yep. So, which is actually my slept on award this okay. year. It's going to be Shaky Graves, which That's a lot it. of a lot of the subs told me to listen to Shaky mm -hmm. Graves. And I blew him off. He's giving credit. He's giving credit. <laughs> I'm sorry. And then I heard about it externally. And now I'm like a huge Shaky Graves fan. Excellent. Uh-huh. Yeah. Travis picking a uh, suitcase uh, kick drum. Suitcase stomping. Master ma <laughs> yeah. Mastermind. Yeah. Uh, that's my slept on award winner. Yep. Okay. My Cody Mansfield Cook slept on award winner is Shaky Graves. Okay. How about you? So my my Cody Cook slept on award is uh, this band called Pomegranate Tiger. And Amazon Music kept being like, hey, you like animals as leaders. And, and, and you like, uh, you know, like um, uh, Electric Wizard and all mm. these bands. And like. You should probably listen to these guys. And like, you're like, Amazon, shut up, machine. Shut up. I don't have time yeah. for this. And then uh, one day, uh, a song from their album called Boundless that came out about two or three years ago, it came on Shuffle. And I like, almost, I had to stop my car. I was like, what is this? You pull over to the side. Oh, what? what? It's so good. So he, you know, the guy plays in standard tuning with like a very gent style EQ on the, you mm -hmm. know. And, uh, uh, but he also has a seven string play rhythm for him. So he has that low. So it's still that modern, like one drummer, two guitarists, no bass, you know, some synths every now and then kind of, kind of metal, uh, but there's no singing and, oh, it's so excellent. That's awesome. Excellent. Yeah. So I slept on Pomegranate Tiger. I regret that, you know, so. But now you're making amends. I'm making amends. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, the band name of the year. We agree on this one. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. So they're not out this year, but they've been selling out shows all over. The and buzz has yeah. been born yeah. this year. Oh yeah, for sure. Best and metal's band coming name. back. Did metal ever really leave? Yeah. Well, out of the mainstream, like everybody stopped and only wanted to listen to like dream pop for a while. I, I feel. I feel metal. like, if from a guitar community standpoint, eh? oh yeah, metal like never died. metal never. In yeah. fact, metal carried the torch. <laughs> like they carried yeah. the torch hard. You're right. You're right. And again, I, yeah. I, I'm a metal poser, yeah. but I have maximum respect for metal. Oh, for sure. So I, my my hats off. Yeah. Uh, That's right. To the metal people out there. Yeah. And this this band name. 
Me- yeah. I mean, metal metal bands are known for their great band names. That's right. And some of their awful band names, too. Though. Yeah. But, you, you know. know. Uh, oh, well, so so the band is uh, Wolves in the Throne Room. Wolves in the Throne Room. The imagery that yeah. comes with Wolves like, in I'm the in. Throne Room. I'm in. I don't even oh, necessarily man. like them that much. No, no. But <laughs> yeah, sometimes, um, here's the thing. I, I like, uh, some of their albums are really atmospheric and really awesome. Mm-hmm. Some of the, the it's I guess it would be considered black metal with the tremolo picking mm-hmm. and the double kick. It's uh, it's almost a little too too epic, for lack of a better word. It's like big and like sure. we're riding into battle. Well, I mean, with but a band name like that, they have to live up to it. Like, yeah. first of all, Wolves would right. be a cool name. Right. Throne Room would be a cool name. Wolves <clears throat> in the Throne Room. And then you're like, are there people in the Throne Room? Are these well, nice wolves? I, I mean, like, what's, what's happening? What's happening? Yeah. You uh, know what I picture? Have they always been in the Throne Have they taken over the, here's the Throne the, Here's what I picture. The, the imagery that I picture is, is very much... Um, this uh, 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 almost Game of Thrones situation, yes, right? Same. Right? Uh-huh. So it's like, you know, the wolf that's in the throne room is in the, the clothing of an advisor or something. Oh, you know? or so it's about, almost a metaphorical wolf. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, think, about, think about like uh, in Lord of the Rings, uh, where were the uh, writers, it was the writers of Ro- Rohan? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. And he okay. was like whispering into the king's ear. Like, mm-hmm. this is what I'm thinking when I say wolves in the throne room. Like, I see. You know what I mean? I was thinking of like literal wolves have run amok. And, like, yeah, I thought about that too. Room. Yeah. For sure. But then you settle on a more appropriate... Yeah, I feel like it's, mm-hmm. it's you know... Plus, I mean, that, yeah, modern day, there are throne rooms in society. Oh, man. And there are always wolves. Always wolves. Yeah. That's right. Again, not a huge fan of the band. Great name. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. right. Okay. Which brings us to a personal gear acquisition of the year. Oh, that's a hard choice. This is a tough choice. I wish I could pick two. You can pick two. Okay. You can. You can. I got an eight-string guitar with fan frets. It was about time... That you had an eight string, yeah, was, and about yeah. time that you had a fan fret guitar. Yeah, and I, I, I feel better just owning it. I was, I was just playing it, <laughs> yeah. and like yeah. the smile on my, yes. the boyish, yeah, smile. Well, oh, because you can't help but riff out. It's so it, low, it, and you're just like. Yeah. I had a, I had a, a riffle experience, oh, yeah. like I've never yeah. had, of yeah. playing your eight string. Oh, yeah. through that pedal board. Yeah. So there's gonna be a, that A string is gonna make it on the channel in twenty. Oh yeah, no doubt, no doubt. It's That'll gonna be, be the MVP of twenty. I feel like it's gonna be the Los Hefes, uh Reface Rhythm Machine. You know, it's definitely gonna <laughs> be like the. It's gonna hold it down. It's gonna hold and, it down. And it already is. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then uh, I also got a Korg Mini Log. It's a four voice polyphonic Analog synthesizer. Yeah, yeah, it's uh-huh. my first. It's my first actual synthesizer. I made a lot of music with synths, and it's all been digital. And I've done my best to make it sound. But I run this through my pedal board and stereo with those amps, and it's like I feel like it's I. Nuts. Why did I wait this long? People, it's not. Why did I wait this long? We'll get we'll get it on the channel. It's so nice because that synth yeah. is amazing. It's a very cool synth. If you're looking for your first synth, it's kind of <laughs> expensive. It's between four hundred, four and five hundred bucks. But I mean, like you won't, for an analog synth, synth that's not bad. One. Yeah, and you literally won't need another one. You we should can, do a demo you know, on that because actually it's awesome because it has yeah. like the oscilloscope. Right. Yeah. The uh, oscilloscope. The oscilloscope, which oscilloscope. shows you uh, what's happening to the waveform. Right. So you can educate yourself on what synth music. Right, and then. Like it actually has helped me because I can listen to like a Boards of Canada song. Like I was listening to, uh, I don't remember. I think it was Turks, uh, Turquoise Hexagon Sun. I was like, oh, that's a square wave out of tune with another square wave. You know, because I've been messing with the. Yeah. You know, you, you can identify. Part, yeah, it. sure. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Believe it or not, humans are not born with an intuitive understanding of the square <laughs> and sine waves. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> my so, my gear acquisition. I also have a two part tie. Oh yes. Peruvian bird flute. And uh, a, ya- a vintage Yamaha guitar. Both of them. I can't pick between them. Yeah, I, I think that would be pretty hard, too. Yeah, which, which if you've followed the channel, you've seen both of these right, before. Right, right, right. And they're excellent. Yeah. Well, that pretty much wraps it up. We only have one more award to give. Huh? <coughs> this award is very special. Uh-huh. And you know? uh, it's, uh, it's almost a little stale because we've been giving this award out not on camera. For years now. Oh yeah, because and it's been unspoken and and just known. It, it is, you know? and it's universally accepted that way. But that doesn't mean that we can't still give it the recognition. You know, it's like sometimes it, it, when you see somebody and and like you know my wife, she's beautiful, and but but you know some you gotta say maybe they you know yeah. you gotta uh-huh. remind them like just because you are, but also I think you are. Sure. So this is why we gotta. And, even the, and like in the NBA, like. Yeah. People win the MVP different years, but LeBron James is the MVP. Yeah. Even if he doesn't get the <laughs> award, right. everyone knows too. LeBron's Everybody the guy. Everybody knows. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, so we so, need to name yeah. the man of the year. The man right? of the year. The Just man the of every year, of the year so far. Every year. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You that, go ahead. Let him know. That's Ian Stitch. Ian Stitch, buddy. Uh-huh. Ian Stitch. Just the most gentle, loving oh, yeah. soul yeah. imaginable. Yeah. Had a rough year. Yeah. Nose yeah. job. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Hurricane. A cowardly fleeing the state. Yeah. yeah. So many things. Fledgling YouTube channel. Teetering on the brink. Like, I don't know if YouTube channels can go bankrupt. 
Yeah. But, you know, like, he had to put, like, a mortgage out on, like, his channel. This poor dude. Stuff like that, you know? And, you know, I, when I ran into him, actually, we this is, this is a, a strange coincidence. I was helping somebody build a fence, and he mm -hmm. had just had to rebuild his from the hurricane. Yeah. And I was telling him, like, yeah, it's such a pain because you have to do them one panel at a time and level them and all this stuff. Oh. And he was like, yeah, I didn't do that. I just <clears throat> put a bunch of poles in, and now my fence is zigzag. <laughs> The perfect, the perfect <laughs> metaphor for Ian's life is uh, yeah. the stitch method hardware. And you know what? Yeah, he was yeah. happy about it. That's that's why Ian's the man of the year. He Smile was happy about that. Uh -huh. There was no like Justin on, oh, then this, etc. Despite no. his own miserable failings, he keeps that uh, enthusiasm and that smile upon right. his face. Yeah. And that's why Ian Stitch, you are the man, man of, of the year, year. buddy. Mm -hmm. Man of the year. So please, again, if yeah. you have someone you'd like to nominate. Put it in the comments. Yeah, and also, man, I'm 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 itching for new music from that I may have missed this year. So please, your favorite album of the year, your favorite song of the year, what you know, what, whatever it is. There you go. You can compliment us on our fine external <laughs> choices and yeah. our great taste. Yeah, too. I could use some external validation for sure. So just man. like you know, remind me how excellent that's, I am. That's you know? the whole reason yeah. I started this channel. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. That, yeah. That's so, right. Yeah. So I appreciate yeah. it. It's been a good, solid 2017. Yeah. Peace out, everybody.